the EG4 12,000 BTU mini split air condition. So as you can see, it's 115 volts AC and 990 volts to 380 volts DC. So when you're setting up your solar panels, you got to make sure it's more than 90 volts and less than 380 volts. Otherwise, if you don't follow these instructions, you can cause problems, a whole lot of problems. So this is a 12,000 BTU mini split from EG4. So you have dual voltage. So this is the DC disconnect. And this is the AC disconnect. And this is the unit at this time. It's not running as for now, but it's working. So this is actually, this is not a hybrid mini split. This is just pure solar mini split. So I got this running on when the sun goes down, you switch over to the second solar. So this actually has its own solar panels. And when the grid goes, when the solar goes down, you switch over to this battery. Let me show you. So when the sun goes down for the mini split, and there is no more sun at night, the mini split from EG4 will be running from this system. All right, so this is a 400 amp hour battery. So when the sun goes down, probably like six, seven o'clock, if the mini split is running, it's going to switch over to this system. So the mini split has its own solar panel, its own grid. Sorry, not grid, but its own DC array. I got five pieces in series at 300 watt per panel. So that's 1500 watt. And you only could max it out to 1700 watt for that mini split. So this is how it works. So when there's no more solar, no more sun, boom, comes in and switch in to this battery backup system from EG4. Alright folks, so once again, this is the EG4 indoor unit, split unit indoor, 12,000 BTU. And as you guys can see, that this split unit from EG4 is running on pure solar. You can see that green icon there. That tells you it's all solar. So when the, when the sun is down and there is no more solar coming from the solar panels, it's going to switch over to this battery backup 